In order to model the world that surrounds us, we need to account for the fine details of the processes that drive the systems. Now, as soon as you start capturing this complexity, you're bound to face the curse of dimensionality. But today I'll present you hidingpd.jl, which is a Julia package that breaks down the curse of dimensionality, and in particular can, can solve high dimensional PDEs. So PDEs are used as models in um, various different fields, ranging from physics to biology. And so for instance, in marine biology, uh, PDEs are used as population models uh, to describe plankton dynamics. So the idea here is to model the plankton biomass across a spatial dimension, for example, across the depth of a water column. But population, plankton populations are composed of many different species with different characteristics uh, influencing plankton growth and the overall uh, plankton dynamics. And so in order to be as close as possible to the reality, you need to um, uh, capture uh, those characteristics by embedding them into additional axis of your population density. Now, this leads to increasing the dimensionality of the problem, which will cause numerical problems. So essentially to solve the PDE, um, you might use standard numerical schemes such as finite differences or finite element methods, which consist in basically discretizing the domain into n different nodes. So if you have n different nodes for each dimension, so if you have um, a one dimensional problem, then the computational complexity of the associated code is going to scale with n. But if you have a two dimensional problem, it's going to scale with n squared. A three dimensional problem is going to scale with n cube. And in fact, the computational complexity is going to scale with, is going to scale exponentially in the number of dimensions of the problem. So this, in practice, would, would lead to the impossibility of solving um, PDEs in dimension above four. Now, hidingpd.jl is a new package which implements recent solver algorithms uh, that break down the curse of dimensionality and which uh, computational complexity only scales polynomially in the number of dimensions. hidingpd.jl belongs to the SciML ecosystem, which means that it respects the uh, associated syntax, which you might know, um, and, and this makes it's a very user-friendly package. Now, the only thing you really need to know uh, to use this uh, package is the general principle upon which are based those schemes. But luckily, I'm going to shortly explain it. So basically, all the schemes in hidingpd.jl rely on the equivalence between, um, the, between the stochastic trajectories and uh, partial differential equations. And so you might know that, for example, uh, Brownian motions, uh, the distribution of Brownian motions over time can be characterized by the um, heat equation. And essentially, there is a generalization um, of this equivalence, which can be formulated as the feynman cac formula, which um, gives you know, an equivalence between a partial differential uh, equation problem and stochastic trajectories or the expectation um, of the average mean of stochastic um, trajectories. And essentially, when you're in high dimensions, this stochastic reformulation is much more efficient to use than uh, the PDE problem. Um, so the, the algorithms um, in hidingpd.gl can be uh, split into two different classes. The first class um, corresponds to deep learning approximations, which essentially use a neural network to approximate the solution. Um, and, and this neural network is essentially trained with the stochastic trajectories I've mentioned. Now, the MLP scheme, which is uh, the second, which belongs to the second class of algorithms, um, is a much more traditional scheme, which uh, is based on fixed point iteration and Monte Carlo integration. Let me walk you through a very um, 
easy example of um, to, to use hidingpd.jl where and let's try to solve the replicator mutator equation which is a population a population dynamics equation and let's uh, try to solve it in dimension 10. So it's pretty easy you import the package um, then you define the time span the advection and diffusion part of the pd this is this concerns the domain uh, this concerns the initial conditions, this uh, defines the uh, non-local, non-linear uh, part of the PDE, and off you go, you can uh, define the PID uh, problem. Now you need as a second step to uh, provide information about the meta parameters that you want to use. So here we use the deep splitting um, algorithm, which needs a neural network. Um, so here we define a neural network with three um, dense layers, we decide on the optimizer, and off we go, we can construct uh, the, the algorithm object. So that's all, that's all you need to uh, use the solve function. Um, of course, you need to precise um, how many trajectories you want to simulate and how many iterations you want to perform to train the neural network. And, you know, after a few seconds, you get uh, the approximation, which I plotted here. Um, as a cross section along one axis, but you have to really think that it's solved over a 10 dimensional domain, which is pretty crazy when you think of it. Now, um, hidingpd.jl can uh, handle pretty much any PD problem uh, of this type with a nonlinear, uh, non local uh, part uh, with gradient nonlinearities. Um, and we currently uh, propose two different problems, uh, like a normal problem and a terminal condition problem, which might be relevant for finance. Uh, we will implement a specialized problem, such as stopping problem and uh, Kolmogorov problem. Um, and we handle free boundary conditions and Neumann boundary conditions. Now to wrap up, um, hidingpd.jl is a Julia package that breaks down the curse of dimensionality in solving PDEs. Um, the package is in its infancy, but with your contributions, its future is bright. So really, please come and contribute. There are open and there will be future interesting issues. You can get started uh, reading the documentation um, and looking at the uh, issues tab in GitHub. Uh, and among those um, interesting things to be done, one I think is very particularly promising um, and it consists in um, doing perform parameter inference um, by basically extending uh, the objective function of the deep learning approximation schemes um, to integrate the constraints uh, given by some data sets. Um, and I think this is uh, very promising and would have some nice applications. With that, I'd like to thank the current contributors to the package, who are Ashutosh, Kirill, and Chris. And I thank in advance the future ones. Um, I also thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, and please uh, do not hesitate to contact me. You can find information on my website.